this is all the cut of, of um, the styrofoam from a new wing and I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of it you guys know that we made these small ones, we got the small ones here they're not made yet, they're just cut out and they're ready for um, being sanded and all that it's going to be a nice nice little size speed wing to bring around then I got my normal size wing which is right here you see the size difference? it's quite a big size difference isn't it? So right, you guys want to see my new one? I just cut it out. So let me just put it next to it and let me see if you can see a size difference. Alright, that's my ordinary wing. New wing! God, I need to raise the camera higher. Whoever said I was a size queen was right. <laughs> and I just thought it could be nice. That one there has such a nice ability to glide in the air, and I like that feeling. So that will have a lot more, I'm sure. And just to show you how big it is when I pick it up, I can use the mirror in the bedroom. Oh, not bedroom, uh, the office. Um, yeah, it's a bit tricky to show it all. Can you guys see me here with it? That's right behind me. So if, it's, if I put it under one wing tip and let it stand up, that is how tall it is. It's just underneath my cheek. So you see all the way down to the ground and up. So that that is one massive wing. And uh, yeah, I just need to the bits are glued on. I just gotta be careful with it because it's a little bit wobbly. But all these joints here, I need to um, just make sure that they are glued nicely. There's one up there as well. And one down there. I need to. I just got to make sure that they are really glued on nicely, give them extra strength, uh, and I'll do that. The beauty of this is, I think that having this size wing, I could actually use this two centimeter uh, as wing tip because that would not be too thick for it. It would look quite um, quite alright, wouldn't it? To do like a corner like that. So um, I think I'll be using that and just tape it in nicely. And glue it on, but uh, yeah, there's some sanding to do. I need to measure out now how much I have to do with the profile because there's got to be sanding round edges on it, like I did on the other ones. And the taping job on this one is going to be a hell of a job. See the tiny one on top of it? <laughs> I think the tiny one could be the three times almost. So, yeah, I am starting my mega wing, and actually, you know, the guys who made them. The building plan we're using, um, which I draw down myself, it's a copy. I just took the picture on the internet and um, scaled it down and copied it off measurements. And I did the same here. Um, the company who makes it is called MS Composite. And uh, they make the Swift 2 wing. Some of you guys out there might have heard of it or seen it on videos and something like that. And if not, well, it's a very good wing and it's one of the best flyable ones you can buy uh, already made. You only have to add your own electronics. And they're fairly cheap as well. Um, so they have this, they have the Mini, the Mini Swift, I think is a little bit smaller than this. Or is it about the same size? I don't know. It's called the Mini Swift, uh, which is uh, about this size here. Then they got the, the normal Swift 2, which is like that one there. Actually mine is about, I think mine is about 20 centimeters wider. Um, so this is, this is bigger than the, the, the normal Swift. And then they got the Maxi Swift. And um, yeah, this is... I guess this is going to be my experiment of doing a Maxi Swift, except I've beaten the Maxi Swift. Mine is about this much wider than the Maxi Swift in total. It's not much, but still, it's bigger, it's slightly little, slightly larger. So I need to get a very long carbon rod to fit over to strengthen it, and um, I'll have to figure out other ways to make it strong so it'll last um, in the air. But I hopefully. Now we we'll, now we had the other wings and we got more control over those. We shouldn't be crashing that much, hopefully. And um, I'm not as aggressive as Mike is. I mean, yesterday he was flying around. He crashed quite a few times in the ground just because he was being silly and not um, noticing what he was doing. Uh, he actually crashed into a tree, which was hilarious because he got the... What do you call that sticky stuff from a tree, Paul? What? That sticky stuff that comes out of a tree. like Sap. Sap. S-A-P. Alright, so he's got a lot of that on his wing now, so it's all sticky and horrible because landed there. And uh, he actually hit a light pole as well. So, where'd he go, Mike? You're really beating up your wing. 
Uh, but it's almost broken now. That's why he's almost he already sanded his second wing, which is almost ready, and he used his shape as shape as well. So his next wing is going to be very similar to mine here, and uh, which is great. So we need to find out some different way of taping because I know I did these colors here, but I like to like get some stronger colors, like neon colors or UV colors, something you can see very brightly in the air because. Um, when I was flying that helicopter you saw on the vlog yesterday, I was higher than that. I was uh, I was higher than that. Both Mike and Lassie agreed that I was higher than that, and I was just floating around out there. It was really great. So, all right, time for me to clear up a little bit here now because it's getting all messy, and I'm sick and tired of uh, not having any. Room. I would love to have a workshop where I could do stuff like this, so we don't have to do it in the area where you're living because it's just all over the place. So um, hopefully one day we can get somewhere. We're still looking all the time, and um, whenever we find something which looks interesting, there's always something coming in the way, which is very, very annoying. All right, time for me to clear up a bit here, and uh, I'll see you guys later. We're at it again. <coughs> Sanding. Mike is doing his big wing, and I've just done one of my small ones. Because we've got two of each. So, yeah, you probably can't see much, but it's been sanded nicely. It's got a nice profile on each side. And round it off. And got a nice end. So uh, that's sanding, right? We got the music going down there. And that's my old wing. Look how the size difference is. <coughs> so, yep, today's complete wing day. <coughs> oh, wow. we get all this stuff in our throat. <coughs> it's not very nice. Sadly, we can't stand outside because we haven't got any way to go outside. So. Oh, sorry guys. <coughs> um, I'll see you later. Ah! Alrighty then. Um, we got the wings up here now. And Mike is sitting and drawing out some stuff because we're going to do some designs on it now. But instead of using normal pens like we did last time to do the colours, I got some acrylic paint. Because I was told that that's the best thing to use on um, Flamingo or Styrofoam. We call it Flamingo here. You'll probably be laughing, laughing your ass off when you say... Um, when you hear we call it flamingo, but that's what we do. Uh, so I got some different colors, some black, some what's that magenta or has it got a name on it? No, that's rose, but it's very very pink. It really is bright bright pink when it comes on white. Green, I even got some silver. Can you see it's got a little bit of shine to it. it looks like a liquid silver. So yeah, and uh, we got some nice bright red. So that's plenty of colors, and we can mix some more ourselves, um, which is nice. So, um, interesting to see how it's going to end up, but um, we're not going to show it to you tomorrow, because we're going to finish the vlog off now and just have a nice relaxed an hour or so doing uh, some designs and start um, finishing off. All right, guys, so uh, see you tomorrow, and uh, look forward to see what we figured out with the wings. They might not be completely done, but we are been working on it.